I, I don't I love where you're at right now. There seems to be some people that are more political than I am that have some sort of problem about your career path and whether or not you sold out Donald Trump. Well, I understand that, you know, I, and I harbor no ill will toward Mike or, you know, people who feel that way because Trump was under such massive and nonstop assault. I think they saw some, some people did my tough debate question in him as me sort of joining that team. And it's like when you got to shore up your flank because the entire world is coming at you, you don't want to see people defect from what you think is your flank, right? Like Fox News wasn't supposed to be an organization in, in the mind of many that would go after Trump in that way. I get that feeling. Um, I just, I, I look at it a very different way. My, my own mind was in a very different place, which was it's a presidential debate. It's not softball. I got to throw my, my hard ball at each one of these guys. And I did. You know, I, I asked the toughest possible question I could of each one of them, and they all handled it well, including Trump, you know, but he made a thing out of it. So then it became this snowball uh, where people thought I was on the opposite side of him. And then I was in the position of really having to try hard every night to be fair to Trump because privately I was irritated with him. You know, it was like I had nonstop security because of him. I had all these death threats because of him. It was like my kids were getting harassed. So I'm not going to lie, it wasn't a pleasant time for me thinking about Trump. But if you go back and you look at sort of how I handled him on the Kelly file, I, I put that coverage up against anything you'd see on another channel in terms of its fairness to him. So anyway, I, I get that some Trump supporters still think, all right, that wasn't a fair question. And then she left for NBC, which is the enemy. And I got to say, like a dope, Jason, I mean, I like I didn't see coming the cultural revolution that we're in now. You know, I actually thought I could go to NBC. I, I left because I was unhappy with my hours at Fox, my schedule at Fox, my lifestyle. I, I wasn't seeing my children who were only three, five and seven at the time. I thought I'll go. I'll do this morning show. It'll be like about, you know, stuff that makes you feel good, you know, like finding your faith again or overcoming a big challenge. And then I'll be home by noon. I, I can raise my own kids after all these years at Fox where I never saw my husband or my kids. And I really didn't even think of politics. I told them, I said to NBC before I went, just in case you're thinking that like I'm a closet liberal and I'm going to get over there and I'm going to let my freak flag fly. I'm not. I'm the same person I've always been. They said, great. Well, you can judge for yourself whether they meant that or not. Uh, but you go back and look at the way I covered Kavanaugh, Trump, all this stuff. And you'll see the same old me that you saw on Fox. I just think people had a perception accurate as it turns out that NBC was far left. And why would I be joining a team like that? And, uh, and I have to say, in that, they were probably more right than I was. And let me say why I can relate to that. Because I think I'm, I know, I certainly look a lot older than you, but I'm a little bit older than you. And I was just as naive at one point. I've worked at ESPN twice. Once in, from about 2003 to some period, 2007 or whatever. And, and at that time, ESPN wasn't, political. It, it certainly wasn't left wing. It was just a celebration of sports. But I chose to go back in two th 2013 and I didn't see the cultural war and what it right. was going to do. I was the same guy that I, I was earlier. And then I got eaten by that political monster at ESPN that was far left. I was just as naive and I wouldn't want people to think that there was that it was just some calculated money grab and I just go whichever way the wind go, blows. It, it yeah. wasn't that at all. That's why I can relate to what happened to you at NBC. 